everyone, okay so this video is a little bit more sombre. I've actually been expecting this for a while. Obviously with the current pandemic, the fashion industry is not doing well and I've just been made redundant. And it's so sad as well because I love the job that I'm in now. I've, you know, I've worked so hard in my career for the past 10 years to get to this point. And I just felt like this job was the right balance for me. But obviously, okay, well, that's not the case now. So we got an email from our manager saying that she wanted to speak to us individually. And then I just kind of had the sinking gut feeling. I've been made redundant before. And it's just when I first started my channel. And a lot of the videos that I've been doing is how to get a job in fashion. Without them kind of tricks and tools that I had before, I wouldn't have been able to get another job. And actually I was really lucky because I was offered like I think three jobs in total um, around a similar period. So it works. If you want to go and watch some videos, I'll leave like links everywhere. But I'm going to be re-watching my videos now more than ever because I need to start looking for a new job. The one thing that I regret about my redundancy before is that I didn't document the process that I took to get a job and how difficult it was and all of that sort of stuff. There's nothing I can do about it. Stop panicking, stop stressing out and stop being anxious about it. They, they are real feelings that I have every day. I'm going to take the rest of the day and kind of just collate my thoughts and everything because it's not... I'm not very happy at the moment. I'm actually really upset that I've lost the job that I thought was going to be the job that I was going to be in for quite a few years. Hopefully the second half of this video will be a bit more upbeat, but we'll see. All right, okay, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, so yesterday I had the bad news that I was getting made redundant. I took the day to sort of get my thoughts together and really figure out what I want to do and how I'm going to take this and take this into a new direction. I'm actually really grateful that I recorded yesterday because it really gives me something to look back on and you an insight on what to do when you're made redundant and it doesn't matter if you're in fashion it doesn't matter whatever industry you're in currently there's not a lot of jobs out there but you have to be positive this is the thing that i'm taking away from it i'm going to be as positive as possible i know i'm a good designer i know that i'm a hard worker and i know that i can do well in interviews and things like that so i'm just going to try and be really positive really go after the jobs that are out there because there are jobs out there i've seen a few over the next few days i'm going to be updating my cv and portfolio and making sure all of that is brilliant you know i'm gonna have to really collate everything that i've been doing over the past few months and really push that into my cv and portfolio now obviously i'm really gutted about being made redundant. I'm not actually eligible for redundancy because I am so new to the company. In England, if you are made redundant and you have been at the company under two years, you don't qualify for statutory and you don't qualify for government redundancy pay. However, what's really good about the company that I'm working for, and it shows that they're a really good company, is that even though I'm still in my probation period, they will be paying me my notice period, which is great. I've got another couple of months before I stop getting paid. Over the past six months, I have been really, really, really trying hard to build up an emergency fund. You know, that emergency fund will sustain me for an extra few months. So, what is gonna happen? Wow. Last time I was made redundant, I made a spreadsheet with all of the jobs that I've applied for so I could keep track of it. I'm gonna be super positive. I'm gonna apply for as many jobs as I can, but also because of the economy and the way that we are at the moment, I'm also gonna be applying for other jobs. I've got a lot of skills that are transferable in my opinion, and I'm sure in other people's opinion as well. There's a lot of office tasks that I could do that I could shift my creativity towards. So I'm also gonna adapt my CV to be a bit more universal. Because at the moment, any job is a positive. So I'm just gonna go for it full throttle. And I think the really important thing is to note when you'll be made redundant is you really do need to have a positive attitude, not just in your job search, but to your ex job. All the people that I've worked with in the company that I'm at now, if I suddenly was not helpful or nice or anything like that, each one of them people are a reference or 
a potential recommendation for another job or anything like that. I would never be like that anyway because I'm a nice person. I would want to help as much as possible. I understand the economic environment that we're in. So I kind of understand why I'm being made redundant and all of that. So I'm not just going to flip off the company that I'm working at and not try and help. So over the next few days, not only am I going to be updating my CV, my portfolio, I am also going to be really working hard at the company that I've just been made redundant from to leave a good impression. And I think the main thing to note from this is I've done a couple of videos in the past about ways to make money as a fashion designer or as you know, anyone who is creative and I've got a Shutterstock, I've got an Etsy account that does make me a small amount of money and I will be making more effort to put stuff up on Etsy and Shutterstock to generate as much income as I can. I'm going to be reaching out to old people that I used to work with and work for and see if there's any freelance opportunities going. As the design teams have been reduced, freelance opportunities will go up because people will still need to design for the next season. The next season is still going to come out. This pandemic might not span to next year when the new season needs to be coming out. So eventually there will be design jobs in the future. We just have to ride it out and that's what I'm trying to do. If you've not seen that video about how to earn extra money, I'll leave links around here so you can go and watch that. I myself am going to re-watch it. So if you are looking for a job out there just like me, I will leave links to all my videos that are related to finding a job in fashion. It's going to be a tough few months and yes, it could take quite a while to find a new job in fashion. But let me know in the comment section below if you have ever been made redundant, if you kind of go through the same processes that I do where I make kind of like sheets and all of that sort of stuff to keep track of everything. I really want to know what all of your experiences are with redundancy. It's such a difficult topic to talk about and the more that we talk, the more we can be more comfortable. Getting made redundant was one of my biggest fears and I've gone through it once and I know I can go through it again. I was really worried about losing my house. I was really worried about losing everything that I'd worked so hard to accomplish and luckily I found a job within time and then after that, I built up an emergency fund for just this occasion. So yeah, let me know down below how you deal with redundancy, what you've dealt with in the past. I think at this moment in time, we all just need to talk and share and help. So yeah, leave some comments in the comment section below. Please, please, please also check out my Etsy shop. It really does help support this channel and me. So if you want to buy CADs and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life, go and check out my Etsy shop at So Called Fashion. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Tra, tra, tra. Bye.